In this video, we're going to talk about how to set up transport controls and fader controls for a generic MIDI device. I'm using an Akai MPK49 USB MIDI controller, but this information applies to any controller that sends MIDI control data for transport or faders or knobs or buttons or whatever you have. The first thing that you need to know is that there are two types of transport control data that can be sent. There's what's called MIDI machine control, or there's generic MIDI data. What you'll need for Mixcraft is standard MIDI controller data. So I'm going to actually edit this program in the Akai so it sends MIDI controller data instead of this MIDI machine control. Now that we know that the keyboard's sending proper MIDI control data for the transport, let's set up Mixcraft to receive it. Right here is a button that says MIDI on it, and if we click on it, you can see a lot of stuff turns purple, including the transport controls. And everything that's highlighted in purple are things that can receive MIDI controller data. So to begin with, I'm going to assign the play button. And you can see that turns a little darker purple. Now I'm going to press the play button on the Akai. And you can see the control number appears. And if that's all we wanted to assign, I could just press the MIDI button again. And when I press the play button on the Akai, it plays. And we can assign more controllers in the exact same way. We can press the MIDI button. So I'm going to press the rewind button over here. And the rewind button on the Akai. And the fast forward button. And when you're done, you can press the MIDI button, and now everything works. Now you may have noticed that the Akai has separate buttons for stop and play, and Mixcraft only has one button for stop and play that toggles back and forth. So if you want your stop and play buttons on a MIDI transport control to work properly, there's a way to do that. Go to the Mix menu up here, and select MIDI Control Surface. Now over here you can see all the functions we've learned, and as its name, Control Surface Details, implies, this is a much more detailed view of everything we've assigned. So getting back to our Playback button issue, here it says Playback Toggle. This is the Play button right here. But if we want to have separate Play and Stop controls, we can hit the X over here, which kills off that assignment. And now I can highlight Play over here, and select MIDI Learn, which is exactly like hitting the MIDI Learn button up here. And I'll press Play. And now I'm going to select Stop, and I'll press the Stop button. And when I'm done, I can hit Stop Learning, and I'll close this. Now we have proper control of Play and Stop. Now I'm going to set up the fader controls to control Mixcraft's mixer, and I'm going to set these knobs up here to control panning. Now the first thing you're going to want to make sure of is that your MIDI fader controller is sending the right kind of control data. And in this case, we need to make sure that each fader is sending a different MIDI control number. And the guy actually shows it right here. It says Control 20. So this is for this fader right here. We're sending control number 20, and this one sends 21, 22, and so forth. The actual controller number isn't really that important, but you definitely want to make sure that each fader is sending its own individual controller number, otherwise you could end up with one fader controlling two faders in Mixcraft or some sort of craziness like that. Once you've got the MIDI controller settings squared away, we're going to assign things using the MIDI Learn button in a very similar fashion as the transport. Now before we start assigning all the faders to Mixcraft's mixer, there's one thing that's really, really important that you're going to want to do. Let's right click on the MIDI Learn button, which is a quick shortcut instead of having to go to the Mix menu and select it over here. And see where it says number of faders right here? This defaults to one. And this is good if you're using one knob control to control a bunch of faders. But what you're going to want to do is set this to the number of faders on your MIDI fader controller. So in this case, we've got eight. So I'm going to Take this up to 8. And now Mixcraft will understand that you've got 8 faders, and you'll see later on where this really comes in handy. So we can get out of here right now by hitting Close. And let's open up the Mixer tab over here. And now we're going to hit the MIDI Learn button up here. Like with the Transport, we just click on a fader and move the relevant fader. And you can see the controller number appears right here, 20. And it matches the number 20 over here on my actual keyboard controller. And we can assign all these by just clicking on each relevant fader in Mixcraft and moving the controller. So I'm going to click on this one, that's two, and so forth. So now all my controllers are assigned. And while I'm at it, I'm going to assign the panning controls as well. Here's the first one, and I'm going to move this knob, and the second one and so forth. Now one thing that you'll probably run into is your song most likely is going to have more than eight mixer channels. So how do you control the rest of those faders? 
Well, one way you could do it is you could take your MIDI controller and you could make another program in there with different controller numbers assigned to different faders. But that's not a very efficient way to solve the problem. But Mixcraft has a really neat way to solve this problem. If we right click on the MIDI Learn button again, see over here where it says Bank Controls? Here we have Move Fader Bank Left and Right and Move Faders Left and Right. And here's how that works. We can assign a button controller on our MIDI controller to bank left and right. And what that does is it takes all eight channels and moves control over to the next eight channels. So in other words, bank one would be faders one through eight, and bank two would be faders nine through 16. And you could just keep going with as many mixer channels as your song used. The banking controls will always move by the number of faders you have set over here. And you can also move one fader at a time. In other words, you could shift over one set of eight at a time by using the move faders left and right controls. And of course we can assign buttons on our MIDI controller that will let us do this. And as you can see I've made these very high-end custom labels of the Sharpie to let us select banks and channels. But I haven't assigned them yet. Now the only important thing on the MIDI controller is that you have to be sure that these are sending momentary button control data. And what that means is a lot of buttons like these, see how that lights up when I hit it? And then it turns off when I hit it again? This is what's called latching. And for this kind of control, you just want to hit the button real quick. So this is not what you want. And you may have to change this inside the controller. So you might have to consult the directions for your MIDI controller for that. But as you can see on these, I've already changed these to work in momentary mode where they only send a quick blip of data and when I let go of them, they turn off. The bank buttons can only be assigned inside the control surface details window. So be aware that there's not really an equivalent in the main mix graph screen. But to assign them, it's super easy. Let's select one and hit MIDI Learn, and now I'm going to hit my left button, and you can see the information pops up there, and I'll hit my right one, and let's set our Move by Channel buttons. Here's left, and here's right, and when you're done, hit Close, and now if you look up here in the mixer, these little icons right here with the three faders on them, these indicate the current bank that's being controlled. And right now we're on 1 through 8, but if you look at channel 9 and 10 and 11 and so forth, you can see that icon's not there. So let me slide this over a little bit so you can see the remaining channels. And actually I have only up to channel 15 right now because the mixer only shows what's in the main window. But if I hit the bank button over here, voila, all these little icons move over here. And when I start moving faders, you can see here's 9, here's 10, here's 11. And if we want to move back to 1 through 8, we just hit it again. And now we're on 1 through 8. And if you want to move the fader bank over one at a time, if I press this button over here, watch this. See that moved over one and channel one doesn't have the icon anymore? So we can move this channel by channel.